Nope, nope, absolutely not. No, we can't stay here. Mom. <laughs> it's okay, really. Uh, no, no, it's not okay. I don't want to be in the way. No, you're not in the way. Come on, Mom, tell him he's not in the way. I'm out of here. Later. No, Rex, please don't. Mom, how could you do this? He's my brother. You want a divorce? That's what I said. Yeah, but we just got married last night. No, we got drunk last night. I wasn't drunk. Well, I was. You saw the tape. Well, I thought you were just happy. Oh, come on. We both know this was a huge mistake. Yeah, well, that was no mistake after the ceremony. Don't remind me. Look, look all right, you're, like, you're not a bad person. I mean, you, you can be kind of fun, actually. No, they don't call me Fun Roxy for nothing. Yeah, it's Foxy Roxy. Especially last night when I was upset about my son. Well, there's nothing a little interlocksy with Foxy Roxy can't no, come on, cure. But we, it was, it was one night. That's all it was. All right. So let's just, just, just put an end to it right now before anyone's feelings get hurt. Okay? Just. You're gonna fight me on this, aren't you? All right. Why don't you grab a seat and I'll go check us in. Right now, I'm gonna go call my dad and make sure he's still gonna pick us up. One time, he got stuck in a case. We were over here for three hours. Three hours? Hmm. Oh. Wow. Well, if we keep doing that, then I wouldn't mind waiting three hours. Or four. Okay, I'll be right back. Or five. Christian? Hey, Natalie. Hey, are you on flight 604 also? Yeah. What, you are too? Yeah, well, I guess it kind of makes sense, uh, seeing how, um, not many people are going to Landview. <laughs> right. Is Ben going to be all right with us taking the same flight? Yeah, of course you will. I don't know. Look, Natalie, you've been a great friend to us. I mean, you came all the way over here just to warn us about Al. Not a lot of people would do that. You did, and Jen knows that. You know, I have to admit, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I told you. You're serious about this. You actually want a family therapy session with you and Bo. The way you help me, of course I do. I didn't think I had done that much, Asa. Don't you sell yourself short, Doc. You are a damn miracle worker. <laughs> no, I mean it. I mean it. Oh, I know. Bo had to trick me into seeing you. Yeah, I remember. After all, I was there. That's because I... I always thought that therapy was one step below a snake oil salesman. And now you don't. You helped me get my head on straight. And I'd like to return the favor to Bo. Asa, what are you up to? What do you mean? Okay. You're never nice, and you know it. You know, you better analyze yourself and get those suspicions of yours uh, under control. We did not come to see you. Where the hell is Bo? Blair, you want to press charges against Todd or not? Uh... Me? No, it's not up to you. It, it doesn't work like that. Todd, you want it to be up to me? I don't understand. I thought if, if he broke the law, Hank, that... Blair, all of the charges, the kidnapping, the fraud, the reckless endangerment of a, of a minor, they were all perpetrated against you and your children. Unless you are willing to testify, we don't have a case. So that makes it pretty much your call, Claire. She's really mad at me, and she's going to want to punish me whether I deserve it or not. Quiet, Manny. You deserve it, Todd. You deserve more than I could ever do to you. Come on, Blair. So what do you say, Blair? You want me to arrest Todd? Mom, no! What are you doing here, honey? I live here. 
Star, uh, the grown-ups really need to talk no. alone right now. You shouldn't be here. You're supposed to be at the hotel with Suzanne. Suzanne brought me here. I need my slippers, which I do. I wasn't lying. Well, then... Uh... Go get your slippers and then go back to the hotel. Uh, I think she can stay here for a little while. Yeah, let me stay. Todd, for once, use your head. You may be leaving with us. That's right. You're not staying, Star. Go get your slippers. If he send Dad to jail, I'll never see him again. Star, we will talk about this later. No, I want to talk about it now. Star, honey, listen to me. Bo, just one minute. Star? Your daddy did something wrong, and when you do something wrong, you get punished. Right? But jail's for really bad people. Yes, Star, it is. Do you mind? What did Dad do that was so bad? Star. It can't be that bad. Star, you don't need to know, sweetheart. Yeah, I do. I know everything else. What do you mean? I know that you and Dad have been fighting. I know that you're mad at him. I know that you know that, and I'm sorry that you know that. I didn't want you to. I know you didn't, but I found out anyway. Just like I'm going to find this out, so why don't you just tell me? Star. Fine. If you won't tell me, then I'll ask Dad. <sighs> Dad, what did you do? Uh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a long story. I'm waiting. Well, I did, you know, like this little thing that was kind of bad, but I, I, I'm trying to apologize to your mother about it because I am sorry. What'd you I'm do? I'm really, really sorry. What did you do? I told a lie. That's it? Well, it was kind of a big lie. When I lied about that man with the big stick, Mom forgave me. Yes. And when Mom lied to you about Max being Jack's father, you forgave her. You know, Star, that's a very good point. That is different. Why? Because it is. Why can't you forgive Dad? Star, please, honey, it's just not that simple, okay? If you don't, I'll never forgive you. Star. If you send Dad to jail, I'll hate you forever. I really don't have time for this. I have to call my dad. Jen, please, just give me one minute. Just, just one minute. Why? Wait, were you waiting here for me so you could get me alone? Was I what? No, no, I just got here. Really? Really. But uh, I'd like to talk to Christian as well. I can't believe you still want to be friends with me. Of course I do, Natalie. Come on. Look, there aren't a lot of people that would just jump on a plane and fly a couple thousand miles to help someone. What you did was pretty amazing. No. You are the amazing one. But I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. You believed in me. You didn't just automatically assume that I came here to, to cause trouble. Why would I assume anything, Natalie? Because everybody else does. And I have caused a lot of trouble. Especially for you. I guess that's what I was really good at. Yeah, well, that's over now. Anyway, I'm... I'm not so good at this whole... friend thing. I haven't had very many of those. Well, you got one now. Remember that, okay? I'm your friend. So if you ever need anybody, I'm there for you. Okay? We could have been great together. I am not changing my mind. Okay, I know when I'm beaten, if that's the way you really feel. Well, I ain't gonna fight you. You won't? I mean, not to say that I'm not disappointed about it. I mean, you and me, you know, that's what Barry Manilow writes those songs about. I'm not sure that's a good thing. That's such a great ring to it. Mr. and Mrs. Max Holden, something about it is just so wrong. Great. Well, you can't tell me that we didn't have a good time in Atlantic City all those years ago. I mean, that was a hell of a wedding night. I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. If it has to end, 
Guess it has to end. Being awful cool about all this. Oh, yeah, well, just call me Cool Roxy. Oh, I just want you to know that I do appreciate it. What is it that they say? Lucky at cards, unlucky at love? It's gonna take a little while for them to drop the divorce papers, so what do you say I, uh, I take care of your hotel expenses? Ah, oh, sweetie, you don't have to worry about that. Why not? Well, you don't know me very well, but I'm always thinking, and... You know, I figured if I don't look as good in daylight as I did in neon... Well, I'd have something to fall back on. What do you mean? Well, Juanita brought a lawyer by here last night. Lawyer? Yeah, and we got together with a lawyer, and we put together a little agreement in writing. I'm not going to press charges. You sure? Dad's not going to jail? No. <gasps> yes, I knew I could do it. I knew I could make her forgive you. Blair, I don't know that I could let this go. Of all the despicable things that this guy has done, I think this has got to be one of the worst. Oh, Bo, it is the worst. Blair, I can't believe you're going to let this man get away with this. I'm so happy. That's good. Everything's gonna be okay. Mom's gonna forgive you, and everything's gonna be okay again. So, I invited Rex to stay with us for a couple of days. Sounds good. Why don't you stay? It's not a big deal. Well, yes, it is, because apparently Mom doesn't want him to. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't mean to seem uncaring. Oh, then wh why can't he stay? Well, it's actually Rex that I'm worried about, you know. What? Why would you be worried about me? Well, for heaven's sakes, I don't want you to miss your school. I already finished all my finals. Oh. Well, what about the people you live with? You mean my aunt? Yes, your aunt. She's fine with it, Mom, because she knows that he'd like to spend time with his sister. Oh. I just didn't know Jessica was my sister. Yeah, so we'd oh. like to get to know one another. Sounds reasonable. Yes, well, in that case, absolutely. Of course you can stay here, yes. You sure? Oh, yeah, and I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I'm very sorry. Uh, don't worry, I, I won't be any trouble. Oh, please. Jesse, why don't you take your brother upstairs and show him to one of the guest rooms, okay? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Something wrong? Yeah, something is definitely wrong. What? Why did you just lie to Jessica? Bo is out on police business, and that's something that you cannot blame me for. Okay, then I guess we'll have to do this another time. We don't need Bo. I think you're missing the point here. If you're going to have a family therapy session, you have to have a family in order to do that. What the hell do you care? You got a head to shrink. Gabrielle. Excuse me. Gabrielle has not agreed to do a therapy session. No. If I'm paying top dollar, I'm going to get my money's worth. No, no. Gabrielle has to agree to this. She agrees. Now, you sit down. What? And we'll use some snake oil to charm this snake. I am not going to let you speak to me this way. I don't care who Just shut up. It's up. Now, she is going to tell you what a bad influence you are on my family. And then she's going to tell you to get your fanny out of here now. I am not doing any such thing. Star, just because I'm not pressing charges against your father doesn't mean I'm going to forgive him. Why not? Because the lie that he told was a big deal. Why don't you just tell me what it is? I have a right to know. No, you don't. Yeah, I do, so tell me. You know, you don't get to talk to me like that. You don't do what I want, then I won't do what you want. Oh, no. That's it. You go to your room, like young lady. <sighs> no. Go to your room right now. I don't have to. <sighs> Star, you're, you're kind of... You're kind of being a little brat. No, I'm not. Go to your room. No. Okay, you go to your room right now, or I'll take you there. No, Todd, no. What? No, what no, is no, your no, problem? No, no, Hold it, Manning. Okay, you need to mind your own beeswax. You know, Todd, 
I might be able to make a case without Blair's testimony. Star, I want you to go to your room. I'll take you to her room. Come on. No, no, I want her to go by herself. Mom! Star, I want you to go. Your daddy and I have some things that we need no, to talk about. Dad. Star, go up to your room right now. Please. Mom! Go upstairs and I will come up, I promise, and I will talk to you later. Please. Never did you hear anything! is your problem? Oh, you've got a lot of nerve asking me what? that. Why take my own daughter up to her own bedroom? No! What? Why? Why not? What am I? Am I such a terrible well, person? Because I'm afraid that you're going to steal her. What? I'm not going to give you the opportunity to take my children away from me. I'm going to sue you for sole custody. I'm going to be the one to steal your children from you. What's this? Some kind of do-it-yourself prenup? Nah. Pro. I had a lawyer do it. You called in a lawyer? Yeah, well, honey, I wasn't drunk, so I finally got my Prince Charming. I'm not about to let you go. Okay, what's it mean? Well, if you leave me, you owe me half a million big ones per year. What? 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 Alimony, honey. I don't make a half million. Well, great. Looks like it's the start of a beautiful marriage. Maybe I can sell the bar. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Why not? Well, because I like owning a bar. You don't own a bar. I own a bar. Well, I'm your wife. I own half of everything, and I'll help you there. Like hell you will. You don't know anything about running a bar. Then you serve. I drink. Works for me. D don't, don't you live in Atlantic City? <laughs> I used to. No, I live in a big, beautiful house with a water wheel. Do you ever have anybody take a ride on that? I mean, maybe we could sell tickets. How do you know about the water wheel? You don't remember anything about last night, do you? You described it as sounding like paradise. Except it did sound like it needed a woman's touch. Uh, this is this is not going to hold up in court. I was drunk. I, I was I was wearing a top hat, for crying out loud. And I asked if you could have it, but they said no. No, we, we're going to get a lawyer. We're going to take care of all this. Well, I already got a lawyer. And he said, you know, just like Stevie Wonder, sign, seal, delivers your mind. So, if this is your John Hancock, Mr. Maximilian, or maybe I should call you Mini Million, if you try to dump me. Look, I, uh, I, I didn't want to make this any more awkward for everybody, but, um, Christian, I, I, I really need to talk to you. About what? Well, I just wanted to, uh, tell you the truth. Look, I, I haven't really been completely honest with all of you, uh, because I, I really haven't been completely honest with myself. What do you mean? I mean... I came down here because I thought that Christian wasn't right for you. I thought that he was cheating on you with Natalie, and I had to come down here and, and warn you. I had to protect you, you know? I was doing the right thing. Yeah, but Christian and I weren't doing anything. We're just friends. Look, I know, but I, I told myself that you two were involved, and, and there was nothing that anybody could say, not even my father. I mean, he, he saw right through me, you know? Uh, he even came down here to try and stop this. Max was here? Yeah, but I, I didn't want to hear anything he had to say. I, I went so far as to get him off my back by telling him that I would get onto a plane back to Landview. But he was covering for me when you called him. But I, I wasn't going anywhere. No way I was leaving this place. And, and, and it wasn't because I thought that you and Natalie were doing anything with each other. Not, I mean, not really. Yeah, well, good, because we weren't. It was because I still loved you, Jen, and, and I was convinced that I was better for you than Christian was. It's not about who's better. You don't love me. You never have and you never will. And I am sorry, I am so sorry that it took me this long to get that through my head. But look, I... I I know you guys don't don't believe me right now, but um, I'm I'm just I'm letting go now. Why would I lie to Jessica? What, what do you mean? You love having Jessica's friends here. Why wouldn't you want her brother here? 
Well, initially, I was concerned about the schoolwork, you know. Yeah, but he just found Jessica. I mean, don't you think that's worth missing a few classes? Well, I suppose, yes. Then why'd you say it? Oh, Ben, I mean, I'll tell you the truth. I'm really worried about Natalie. Natalie? Yes. This boy, this, this Rex. We don't know anything about him. So, do you think that he may be as much trouble as Natalie was when she got here? No, 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 that's not it well, at all. Well, that's good, because I think we both agree that she turned out to be worth the trouble. Yes, absolutely, no. That, uh, here's what I'm concerned about. I don't know how Natalie's going to feel about having him here. It might make her very uncomfortable, and I wouldn't want that. Yeah, that's a good point. I never thought about that. And things are strained enough between Natalie and me ever since she found out I have these, you know, negative feelings toward her. Which is still so hard to believe. I know, but the bottom line is she thinks I hate her, and I don't want to make anything worse. I'm sure you won't. I know, but I worry about it. You know, and this, this Rex, but... And I just found out I have to go away for a few days. What? Where are you going? I got a call from Clint. Oh, is something wrong? No, no. He's, um, rewriting his will to include Natalie, and he plans on meeting her, I, I think he said in a few weeks or so. Oh, that's right. They haven't met yet. No, they haven't. They haven't. And so he wants to discuss all the repercussions of all of that with me in person. Okay, sounds good. Why don't I go with you? Oh. <laughs> oh, you, you don't need to do that. <laughs> what, do you think I want you running around London with your ex-husband? I mean, come on. He, by now, he's got to know how much he's lost. Don't tell me you're jealous. Well, yeah, I am a little. <laughs> I mean, I trust you completely. Plus, it'd be kind of fun to get to know my other brother. It would? Yeah, I'd spend time with you. Would it? Yeah, I think uh, a trip to London is exactly what we need. Uh, ben, no, you know what? I cannot go to London with you, because if I do, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to focus on anything except you, and I really have to deal with Clint. Okay, if that's the way you want to handle it, but I gotta tell you, I'm a bit disappointed. Thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna be lonely, and I'm gonna be envious, but I know that the change of scenery is gonna be good for you. Let me know when your plans are set. You're gonna try and take my kids away from me. That's right. No, you're not. Says who? Says, what? When did you start talking like this? I want you to leave, Todd. Where? Now. No. I'm not asking you. Blair, you need some help? We'd still be happy to arrest him. She's not pressing charges. You started harassing her, Manny. Harassing? I'm not harassing her. I'm just trying to talk to her without you here. Well, I don't think she wants that. You need to mind your own business. Blair and I are husband and wife. I'm sure we'll find a way to work this out. That's not gonna happen. Well, what do you say, Blair? Oh, come on. You can't arrest me for trying to apologize to her. Bo, Hank, could you get an immediate restraining order against Todd? I don't want him anywhere near the house or the kids. What? And maybe have one of your policemen stand outside the door? Come on, Blair. I mean, just until Todd leaves. I know this is on short notice, but I swear tomorrow I'll get a security system all set. Well, it's no, it's no problem at all. I'm sure Officer Patterson here would love to keep an eye on Manning for a while. Is this some kind of a bad joke? Blair, I'll go talk to a judge right now. You will have your restraining order within the hour. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Do come again soon. <laughs> Lovely seeing you. Are you insane? What you did was insane. This is not about what I did. This is about those kids. You don't care about yes, them Yes, I all. care about them. That's why I'm doing this. You want to get them away from me? You took our baby away, Todd. I didn't. Sorry. I know I promised to stay at, ho at the hotel, but Star insisted on coming home. <sighs> I'm gonna go see my son. I am paying 
threaten you, you'll tell her what I say. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm gonna tell oh. her to do what? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Now the good doctor can work her magic. Oh, oh, no, she can't. She can if I'm paying her. Consider it a freebie, Asa. You're not gonna railroad me into some bogus family therapy session when all you really wanna do is push people around. It's what Bo wants. What do I want? Apparently, to get Gabrielle to move out. What? Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Asa, when you want to be serious about doing some sessions, call me. Gabrielle, I am so sorry. Well... Hey, bye, Ray. Let me get this straight. Bo... No, no, no. You brought Ray Cummings over here to try to get rid of Gabrielle? Yes, because I'm a concerned father. A what? Look, you try to stick it to me by letting her live in your house in the first place. That's not the reason she's still here now. Don't try and fool me, Bo. No, I'm not gonna deny it. I mean, that's the way it probably was in the beginning, but, uh, yeah, things have changed now. They... they have? Well, yeah, you know, I like having Gabrielle around. I'm not kicking her out of here. So you're telling me you like living with a cheat, a liar, and an attempted murderer? Well, for years I lived with you. Don't get smart, boy. You know what, Pa? I think it's about time that you left. I'm getting sick and tired of looking at her anyway. You know, you've taken up, Bo, with a lot of my leftovers and lived to regret it. I'm not taken up with anything. You will never regret it more if you take up with Gabrielle. She is one she-wolf that you never, ever can let get under your skin. Thanks for the warning. And everybody who ever got close to her lived to regret it, if they were lucky. Goodbye, Pa. Yes, I signed it, but, but I was drunk when I signed it. That's on the tape, too. Tape the signing of the prenup? Oh, man, that's so tacky. Well, I, I don't care. I can prove I, I was drunk. I'll get your lawyer to testify. Oh, that's if you can find him. Why wouldn't I be able to find him? Oh, something about losing a case, having his thumbs broken. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I gotta get out of this. Uh, I got it. Nora! No Nora, this is Max. Please call me when you get this message. Uh, call me on my cell phone. I'm in Las Vegas, but I will be on the next plane to Landview. You know what? Uh, uh, why don't you meet me at the airport when I arrive? I'll, I'll call you with the arrival times. This is an emergency. Who the hell is Nora? My lawyer. Hey, honey, let me tell you something. If you're gonna work this hard or something, make sure it's something fun, okay? I can't be married to you. Are you sure you're not drunk now? Because we are Mr. and Mrs. Max Holden, so death do us part. You are totally welcome here. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better. Like you got to know Natty? You know, I don't know if um, Natalie is going to want you to call her that anymore. <laughs> uh, what's Natalie like now? Oh, um, Natalie is one of a kind. What does that mean? <sighs> okay, let's just say that she's not the easiest person to get along with. She doesn't really like to let people in. So why bother? Because she's my sister. I bet you wish she wasn't when she got all your money. What? How did you know that? Look, I don't expect you guys to forgive me, okay? I just, I just didn't want things to be weird, you know? I mean, we live in the same town, we go to the same school, but know that I, I am, I am really sorry, terribly sorry for everything. And, and Chen, listen, I, I'm not gonna bother you and Christian anymore. You don't have to worry. Oh, wait. I just have to say, you, you saved Christian's life. And I will always be grateful for that. You will too, right? Like Jen said, you saved my life. You didn't have to, but you did. 
count, or if you hadn't showed up when you did, I don't know what would have happened to you. Hey, listen, I wasn't about to let somebody stab you, you know? So, uh, everything's cool, right? Right. I, I guess, I mean, I, mean, I, I hope. All right, um, Jen, why don't we go and get some magazines and stuff for the plane? Okay. Cool. I'll see you in my view. Good one, Al. What? Well, Jen bought it, and I think Christian sort of bought it, but I'm not buying it for one minute. Suzanne, take Jack upstairs. Come on. Where? Suzanne! Suzanne, just take Jack upstairs. It's time for his nap. All right, Mrs. Manning. I just want to go see Jack. No. Don't touch me, Todd. Come on. Look, there's Where? a guard right out there. Did you want me to get them? Or maybe I could call Bo or, or Hank and tell them that I'm going to press some charges. For what? I just want to go see Jack. No. Look, I told you before, you are not going to take my children away from me. Not Star, I won't. Not either one of them, you won't. I can't take Star away from you. She knows you, and... I can't take her away forever. Not taking anybody away forever. You can have forever. supervised visits for her sake. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what about Jack? You know what, Natalie? I don't care what you think. Al, Jack. Still here. Natalie, what are you doing here? It's a long story, but uh, none of that matters now. Look, I am. Um, I talked to uh, Christian and Jen. We worked everything out. You did? Yeah. It's just like you said, I... I couldn't let her go. It's not easy, I know. Look, Dad, I, uh, I said some things to you that just... Don't I know you? <laughs> what, are you what are you doing here? Can you give me at the slot? Would run out of money? Hardly, honey. I hit it big. Hey, I got the last seat to land you, sitting next to Maximilian <clears throat> in first Good. class. Can we not get into that now? And if anybody wants a free drink, all they have to do is come right up front and go, hey, Roxy sent me. Dad, why is she sitting next to you? <sighs> hey, Max, didn't you give him the big news? Maybe we should all get over to security now. Max and me are married. <laughs> I didn't know Natalie got your money. Not for sure. Then why did you just say that? I just figured she would since she's your mom's real kid. Oh. Well, you figured right. Sort of. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what really happened. No, Natalie, um... She wanted the money. And you still want to be her sister? She's changing. Well, that's good, I, I guess. When Natalie first came here, she thought she'd be happy if she was rich. But she's not? Well, happy, that is. No. Of course not. You know, I've got to um, go to class. Is that okay? If you're here, you can just make yourself comfortable. Uh, but... Thanks. Thank you both. That was incredibly kind of you to stand up to your father for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we both know how stubborn Pa can be, you know it? I can be just as stubborn. Yeah. yeah. But still, the, the two of you were just starting to get along again, and... You know, well, the best way for him to wreck that is to try to tell me that I can't do something. Yeah. Anyway, I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm really glad everything worked out. Okay. Because I thought it was curtains for me when I told you the truth about Todd. Hello. <clears throat> uh, Bo, it's Vicky. Are you okay? Bo, I need to see you alone. It's so important. You're never going to see Jack again. 
Well, you can't do that. <sighs> yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can, and it's easy, Todd. El baby, it's them wept up. What? That's what you told Paloma to tell me, isn't it? Come on. They was too little, too small to survive. <sighs> Don't do this, boy. The baby's dead. How's that sound to you, Todd? How do you feel? How does it make you feel knowing that you're never going to see your son again, that you've lost him forever? Don't do this. And you know what the worst part is? Is that knowing that he's still alive and you still lost him. I won't let you. You don't have a choice. From now on, Jack is dead to you. You're never gonna get away with this one. You try and cut my son out of my life? No, Todd. You did that. Fine. If you want a war, I'll give you a war. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. When was the last time you got something at the store that made you... On the next One Life to Live. I was hoping you'd go to London with me. Yo, dude, come to Mama. You're going now, right? Um, out the door. Out the door. Oh. There's a new show coming to town. Soap superstars Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway are hosting SoapNet's new show, Soap Talk. Soap Talk will be the portal to everything you ever wanted to know about soaps. Soap Talk, coming soon only on SoapNet.